Before we get started with this car show, I just want to give a shout out to my man Nathan here. He made this little cinematic intro clip. So if you guys like it, go check out his channel, which will be linked in the description. And let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more of these like cinematic videos for these car shows. But anyway, please enjoy. Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 car show. Today we're back on the PS4 and we're back in this lovely spot. I kind of like this spot for car shows, man. No cars really spawn here, like no NPC cars really spawn here, and I think it's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, this is just an any car car show, so we got a bunch of cars, a bunch of variety here. Let's just go ahead and hop right in. So the first one from Dino. Now it's a little beat up because uh, some people over here were misbehaving. But we got the Vapid Blade with the white and the red. Beautiful looking colors, beautiful looking car. Kind of an underappreciated car, I feel. Not many people use it, but you got the red underglow there and the white walls. So pretty awesome to start us off. Next up, we have this dude's car and he's rocking the blue paint job with the blacked out rims. Not much you can really customize on this vehicle, and there's explosions happening, so this might not end well. But, uh, you know, not bad, I guess, for it. Here we have the new Hijack Rustin, and this is an all-red version. You got the red on the rims there, the gray rims, the white as the secondary you can see on the bars. Overall, you know, pretty simple, not anything too crazy. White and red definitely look really nice. Then we have the Comet Retro. I love this car so much, man. I don't think I'll ever get over loving it. But we have the blue with a black, looks like, with a, uh, it's actually a matte blue. I like that. With the blue on the rims, that sort of matches it. That's a really good look there. Uh, and then, like I said, the black in the middle. So pretty simple, no liveries or anything. You got some nice customization, but yeah, I, I like that. Then we have the uh, the Canadian Dukes from Tick and a Cow, I think his name is. 
get the black with the white secondary, the red on the rims, and then the red and white Canadian flag. I kind of like that one, man, because the, the colors all blend together really nicely, and it's it's definitely sort of a unique looking vehicle. Here we have the Voodoo. Haven't seen one of these in a while. The low rider, the low, low rider Voodoo, with the uh, the interesting, crazy looking color scheme or livery. Then you got the blue and the white for the interior. The blue and the white, basically for everything else. You got the hood there, the underglow as white, the white walls. Next up, we have the Dubsta. Now this one is all chrome with red. Not not sure. Um, I don't know. I, well, I, I'll say this. Chrome in this car doesn't look too bad, but I don't know. That's uh, maybe a little bit too much for some people. Then we have the Spectre. Oh, this is nice looking. All right, so here's what it looks like. Yeah, I, I kind of like this. It's it's definitely a different look on the Spectre, but, I, you know, it's uh, it's not bad. Then we have this car, which I have no idea what it is. It looks like it's stanced with the, uh, the black rims, the white paint job. This is a beautiful looking car, man. Nice and simple, like so elegant looking. And then the fact that it's stanced or it's stanced looks or makes it look even cooler. What car is that though? What is this? This is the link. Oh, this is the Lynx. God, I, that's I've never freaking seen it because it's so damn expensive. <laughs> but yeah, I like that one. That's cool. All right, moving to this side. We have the OG Zentorno here with the black and what it looks or what appears to be gold black and gold i like that color scheme well next up we have the progen gp1 oh god that's apparently gonna catch me on fire uh with the red and the orange lava looking paint job and this is how all car shows go man Ooh, i like this this is another rustin i like this color this this pinkish reddish with the black and then the the whites or gray on the the rims, I kind of like that. Dude, that's a, that's definitely a good look for for the uh, for the rust in there. Then we have another Progen GP1. This one's more of a, a simpler color with just the gray, the black rims. Not bad. Then we have this guy's GP1. I'm surprised I'm seeing a lot of GP1s here. This one's a purple one though. You got a little uh, beat up there. Nice dark purple paint job with what looks to be black rims. Okay. We have an Itali GTB with one of those super bright crew colors. I like it though. I kind of it kind of fits this vehicle. Here we have a Nero Custom. We got the blue with the dark blue, I believe, in the back. And then we have the Gallivanter. Haven't seen you know this is risky bringing an SUV to a car show. Got the all gold though. Then we have the. Um, FMJ here, the all red with the black rims, nice and simple. Not much you can really do, not much you can really customize on this vehicle, but red and black goes together nicely. Here we have the Sultan RS, or just the regular Sultan with the black and white color scheme. You got the white rims, the carbon hood, uh, blacked out windows. I don't know, that might actually be it for this little impromptu car show. I'll probably add another one to the end of this, so this will be a two-parter. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Yo, hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another car show. We're doing a continuation of the one earlier. This lobby is a little bit more cooperative, although the NPCs are being the downfall of this lobby. This is what's happening behind the scenes. Look, cops can't get into their cars, NPCs stopping. Unbelievable. Can never have anything go right. But we'll go ahead and start uh, with this dude, Johnny. And he's rocking the pavement, apparently. NPCs don't like me. Okay, so we got the Atali GTB. Definitely an interesting and unique looking car here. You got the blue, the black, the pink, the yellow lightning bolts. Uh, I kind of like it in, th in the terms of just like being super crazy. Uh, obviously, there are going to be some car people that don't like it, but yo, I like it. You got some style there. Then we have the orange GP1, kind of a, you know, a one that we've seen a lot lately, but uh, you do have some blue rims or some purple rims, so being a little different there, I appreciate that. I love the paint job, though. Then we have this lovely Sabre GT or Sabre Turbo here with the beautiful purple and green color scheme. Yo, this looks really nice. The green on the top, the, the dark purple here. The, uh, the black rims, it looks like. The purple and green on the interior to match the outside. That's that's a good look, dude. Then we have the Cheetah. <laughs> um, okay. not Haven't seen one of these in a while. But you got the red with the black, or the red with the carbon, the all red rims. Then we have the LG. Okay, regular old LG here with the solid green and yellow paint job. Black rims. Fairly, you know, pretty standard. Nothing too crazy there. 
Ooh, okay. Then we got the all red Dukes. This looks nice. Super red paint job. I like that. And then it matches the black rims. That's actually good because normally, you know, you'll see people with the, the different secondary, but you just chose to go all red and I, I think it fits this car. Then we have this one, uh, I believe is the Chino and he's rocking the sort of cream paint job with the uh, pretty standard rims. So nothing too crazy here in terms of customization, but uh, I kind of, you know, it fits. It definitely fits. Then we have the lime green Osiris. You got the black rims. The lime green with the black or carbon on the hood. Okay. Ooh. Whoa, this one's good looking from Howie. Yo, that's a freaking awesome color. That is obviously a crew color, but that looks so nice, dude. On the, the Nero custom or the Nero here, you got the white on the tires, the white on the interior. That's a classy looking freaking supercar. Then we have the Lynx. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these since the last car show <laughs> we have the uh the burnt orange though paint job and uh the black rims i kind of like it though you know the lynx you know despite its horrible pricing and horrible performance i think it's one of the better looking sports cars then we have the beautiful sultan rs the black and the white pretty standard you know for this car you know i've seen a lot of these but it looks phenomenal man the all black the black livery with the white, black rims, black tinted windows, black on the inside. Then we have the Futo. Okay, haven't seen a, a Futo in quite some time with a, a pretty nice looking blue color, man. I like that. With a darker gray, maybe with a lighter blue pearlescent on. You got the carbon on the hood with a NAS sticker. I kind of like it with the black rims. Then to the, moving to this side, we have the X80 with an interesting color. So you got brown. Brown with light blue. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that. Uh... I like the brown. I don't I don't like the light blue with it though. Then we have the Turismo here with the black and red black rims or carbon rims with the red on the outside of them. You know, not bad, pretty simple. And then we have this Itali GTB, all red with the black rims. Kind of like that all red Dukes over there, but I think it looks cool. Then we have the Osiris with the all blue color. So kind of like the opposite of the, the, the last one. You got the black rims, super shiny blue as well. Then we have a yellow Progen GP1 here. So pretty pretty simple, nothing too crazy. You got yellow on the interior. You got the black rims, the, the yellow uh, on the, you know, outline, I guess. Then we have another, a lot of Osiruses. I'm surprised actually by this because I thought the Osiris wasn't, you know, a popular car. Well, here we have the Osiris red and black with gold rims. Not, not entirely sure about that. Here we have a beautiful Dukes. Now this is this is classy, man. All black with the chrome rims, the chrome on the secondary, chrome on the engine there. That that is a god. The Dukes is so beautiful. Then we have the Turismo, Turismo with the orange paint job and red on. Is that red on the rims? I'm not sure about the red. I see that's red on the rims. I like the orange paint job, but not not feeling the red rims there. Uh, then we have this beautiful, ooh, that is freaking awesome, Salt and RS. Super simple, no livery or anything. You get the white rims with the beautiful, like, creamish paint job. I wonder if that's a modded color or if that is a, just a, you know, a regular color, but that's, that's really good, man. I like that. And then the last one I believe we have is this Rustin, Hijack Rustin. You got the red with the black, it looks like. Pretty simple red on the rims so uh yeah there we have the car show let me actually know i did go ahead and miss this dude's itali gtb over here so let's go ahead and look at it so we got a a metal on this one with uh the racing livery you got the off-road tires or the racing tires it looks like so kind of a cool racing version of the itali gtb but that is actually going to do it for this car show so you got uh you got two car shows in one the first one was kind of hectic but the second one i think went really well let's look at us all here we're just chilling enjoying some company but uh oh god that guy's got a homing launcher that is not good that is not a good sign but thank you all please drop the video like me enjoy subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in the next one